Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the Shape Edit application mode that's available inside the Cadence PCB tools. This application mode can actually speed up when you're trying to edit shapes um, with some really cool commands that come in the options pane. So we need to invoke the Shape Edit application mode first, so we can do this several ways. Um, there's a little menu icon down the bottom where it says General Edit, so we can choose which application mode we want here, so Shape Edit would be available there. I can do it from a right click, application mode, and pick Shape Edit. I can get it from the setup application mode shape edit option here or we can use the icons along the top here so I'm going to invoke it with shape edit mode and you'll notice the options pane changes to show me the available commands. So the first one we're going to do is uh, just slide a segment increase the size of a segment around so I've got some click and drag options so drag slide so I can literally just drag the segment and that would increase the size. I can hover over the segment and use a right click and then there's an option to slide the segment and I can do it from there. If I change the click function, so a single click into the slide mode, a single click and I can then increase the size of the shape and do whatever I need to do very, very quickly. If I do that now with um, a shape that has some chamfered corners or some rounded corners, obviously what's going to happen is, um, because the extend selection isn't enabled, I'm just going to see a one segment slide. So let's just undo that. What I really want is I want effectively a, like a three segment slide here. So I can do that with the extend selection. Um, by having that, it's going to effectively do the chamfer, the straight edge and the chamfer. So you can see when I click that, it maintains the shape integrity uh, and I can then bring out the shape. And that's going to work for chamfers or for rounds um, in either axis. I have an add notch option. So um, if I want to add a notch to this segment, maybe put some cutouts or extend some segments out. Um, we can change the click option to add notch. I can then do a click and a click and add a notch. Click, click, add a notch. Um, if I want to be very specific about where I'm choosing, if I hover over the segment first and then do a right click, add notch, I get the first one so I can hover over the end, snap pick to segment vertex, right last button, snap pick to segment midpoint, and I'm being very specific about where I'm adding that notch as I go along. The move vertex, so we'll change the, the click to move. If I then hover over the corner, you'll see the mouse changes. When I make a click now, I'm then effectively moving both vertices in one go, and that's going to work on inside edges and also on outside edges. Chamfer corner, so we'll turn the, the click option or the, the vertex commands back to chamfer and round. I can either, either have a chamfer or a round. There's a trim and a chamfer distance, so you can have different values for each. So if we leave it set as the as the trim value, hover over the mouse changes, I can then get a chamfered corner, get a chamfered corner, get a chamfered corner. If I set the trim by cursor, I can click and then I can then drag the segment to where I want the chamfer to be. Let's just disable that one again. That's going to work for rounds as well. So we've got a rounded option here, so we can do a trim or a radius hover over the corner and make a click, hover over the corner and make a click. If I get the root keep out, so let's get the root, and do a click. Let's get the tab key back to the segment, there we go. It would then, obviously, it rounds the root keep out and the shape as well. You can actually do all these in one go, so let's go back to chamfers, maybe make the, the trim size a bit smaller. Uh, let's set that to five. Hover over the shape. Um, so I can do a right mouse button and then use shape and then we will do trim all corners and that would then do all the shapes in one go. Another way to do that with a round, so let's go to round, maybe let's make the corner look a bit bigger, um, is I can actually use the tab key to get the dynamic shape and then do a right mouse button, trim corners and that would then trim all the corners in one go. Um, if I need to remove corners, I can just do a right mouse button on the corner and remove, extend the segments. You have to do these one by one. Um, similar to the, 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 the extend selection, there's something called auto join. So if I was to slide this, let's make sure we're on slide, it's going to maintain the, the shape that we've got here at the moment. But what I can do is I can actually have this as an auto join. So it would then effectively join the three segments together. And I've now lost that, main, that shape and I'm back to the, a full uh, rectangular square. Move segments, I can effectively use a, a shift click to click the three segments and then do a right mouse button 
and move and I'm then moving the segments along to where I want them to go. That's the, the defaults for kind of the shape edit mode so it's worthwhile having a look. Um, there is actually an option here if, you, if you've got some zones so some flexi rigid zones you can actually enable this and then edit the zone boundaries um, with this checkbox.